Hi and welcome to this short video on updating your Modi X to OS version 2.5. The procedure is pretty much the same as updating to version 2, so there'll be some overlap if you've seen my earlier video on updating the Modi X. However, if you haven't updated yet to version 2, you can update from version 1 straight to 2.5 without having to update to version 2 first. So, what will you need for the update? Well, you need one or two of these, and you'll need an uninterrupted power supply during the process. So don't apply the update if there's any potential for a loss of power, such as during a thunderstorm. First, you'll need to visit Yamaha's site to download the update. If you haven't visited Yamaha's site before, Google Yamaha Modi X Downloads, and you should be taken to your country's site. Scroll down the page, and under Firmware and Software, you should see the firmware installer for OS version 2.5. Note that Modi X Connect has also been updated with the release of 2.5, and it's probably a good time to check that you're running the latest USB driver while you're here. Once you've downloaded the zip file, unzip it, and you'll find a supplementary manual showing the new functions of Modi X version 2.5, and a data list showing the new performance listings, as there are 32 new performances in 2.5 that take advantage of the new Smart Morph function. This is a good time to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. It's totally free, and I'll be looking at Smart Morph in a new video shortly. Also, do make sure that you click on the bell icon to be notified of new video releases in the future. If you haven't formatted a USB stick on the Modi X before, simply insert your stick into the Modi X, and I prefer to do this when powered down, just to be on the safe side, and press the Utility button. Select Contents, and you should see Unformatted Device in the top left-hand corner here. So simply select that, and press Format. A little warning that it'll be formatted, and away you go. And give the volume a name, but for now I'm just going to hit Done. And there we are. It's important to note that the update to OS 2.5 will initialize all user memory. So make sure you save your user data to a USB flash drive before updating. Then you can load that data back up again after the update is complete. To do that, press the Utility button on your Modi X, go to Contents, Store and Save, and under Content Type, either select User File or a Backup File. A backup file is more comprehensive, and will save not only your user data, but also any library data and song data. So uh, I'll do that now, and let's give it a name. And that's done. So to check that that is saved away, I'll press Utility, and uh, this time I'll select Load. And if I select uh, Backup File, there it is, ODX Backup, June 2020. The reason I said that you may need a couple of USB sticks is that you'll need a USB stick that's been freshly formatted on your Modi X to copy the .pgm file from the, your unzipped folder onto. Do this on your Mac or PC after firstly formatting on the Modi X. No other file apart from the .pgm should be on the USB stick. The next stage is to power off your Modi X and connect the USB stick to the rear panel of the Modi X. I tend to use a little USB extension cable to save wear and tear on the socket and it also makes it easier to get to rather than reaching behind the Modi X in the studio. To start the update, the next stage is to power up the Modi X whilst holding the cursor up and the utility buttons. Keep holding them down until the Yamaha logo appears. The Modi X will begin its update routine. Obviously don't turn off or remove the drive during the update process as this will screw up the process and probably screw up your Modi X too. So, once we get the message Finish, please turn off, it's safe to do so, and you can remove the USB stick when powered down, and replace it with the one on which you'd previously saved your data. But we aren't finished just yet. After powering up the Modi X, you need to execute the Initialize All function. And to do that, you press Utility, Settings, System, Initialize All Data. Here you can see at the bottom that the Modi X has indeed been updated to version 2.5, so now I'll hit the Initialize All Data button. Once finished, you'll be able to enjoy the new performances and the new facilities offered by Modi X version 2.5, and you can reload your user data from the USB stick into the internal memory. I hope you found the video helpful if you were at all nervous about upgrading. As I said before, please subscribe for further Modi X videos, and do select the bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. 
So until the next one, thanks for watching.